Authorities have revealed the nation's capital accounts for the highest number of cases reported in the last 24 hours. Port Mosby General Hospital CEO says numbers have tripled. Towards the end of September, 20, 27 September to now, we have seen increased number of uh, COVID cases coming into our hospital. Initially from 27 September to 28, 29, the positivity rate was uh, 31%. It's only increased to 40% and 50%, meaning that uh, five cases of uh, Five out of every ten cases presenting with a flu-like cough fever are tested positive for COVID. In the last 24 hours, this has increased to 61%. Currently, 89 patients admitted in the, in the hospital. Uh, our 18-bed uh, isolation ward is full, so we have opened up another ward to accommodate uh, uh, the increased number of cases. Following the surge, Pomgen has released a circular number 39, scaling down of services. Circular number 39 for scaling down is so that uh, we close down some of the non-essential areas like the consultation clinics, uh, elective surgery, uh, so that uh, we free up some of the staff to remobilize the staff to those uh, areas uh, so that we can contain the surge. This is, uh, this is for two weeks, uh, we will scale down. Dr. Molomi is calling out to the public to be vigilant. The only way we can save our fragile health system uh, is to get as many people as vaccinated as possible so that we don't get them into the severity of COVID and we can get them into the ICU care or demand for oxygen because we don't have many of those. So I would have encourage all, uh, all our population to get themselves vaccinated, to protect themselves, you know, to protect their family, and of course to save our fragile health system in the country. Kilawani, National MTV News.